Hey guys, it's been uh, about two and a half years since my last minigame Iron Man video, but I'm now officially bringing back the account. Um, I don't know how long I will be playing it. I don't want to promise anything, but I wanted to play it, and I figured I'd make a couple videos for it. Um, so what you're about to see is clips I recorded two and a half years ago, so a lot of the information in the video is outdated. Um, I will be going over rules, limitations, exceptions, and uh, things like account goals in the next video. Uh, because some things have changed, new minigames have been released, and so on. Um, but we will keep going with the uh, current goals, and yeah, I look forward to seeing where this account will go. Um, and hopefully you guys do as well. Um, and with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoy these very outdated clips. And our first medium clue completed on the account. Let's see what we get. Ooh, nature runes, amulet of power, nice, and some teleports, pretty good. Alright, so I think we're going to start with using all the crafting supplies we got from Implings. We got some seaweed and buckets of sand, so we're going to make some glass with that. And then after that, I think we're going to go to Barbarian Village and make some pots with the soft clay we got. Hopefully we can get to level 10 and use our flax. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can get from that. Alright, so we just got 8 crafting with all those supplies. Um, I think now I'm going to go see if I can do some rune crafting with the essence I got. Alright, so we just used the last of our essence. We got about uh, 200 or 150 uh, mind runes, and we got 8 rune crafting, so that should be enough runes for us to do Witch's House. <coughs> now, normally we wouldn't be allowed to do Witch's House because it's not really related to any minigame, um, but to unlock Nightmare Zone, I need to do 5 quests that unlock... Uh, well, they have bosses, um, and if I do all of the mini games that unlock, uh, that have bosses to unlock Nightmare Zone, I would only get four. Uh, those being Tree Gnome Village and Grand Tree, which help uh, unlock the rest of um, Gnome Restaurant. I would get In Search of the Myrek, and I would also get Lost City, which unlocks the uh, Xanarus entrance to Puro Puro. So besides those four, I need one other. Um, I need one other uh, b uh, quest with the boss, so I decided to do Witch's House. Um, so yeah, I think we got enough mine runes, we're going to go do that. And then I think we'll play some Barbarian Assault because we'll have some more HP, so we'll be able to survive, uh, hopefully, a Queen kill. There we go, and 11 hit points, that was not too bad. Let's go finish this quest. And there you go, quest complete. That brings us to 24 hit points, and almost 18 combat. So now we have a couple of options. Um, you can either go do Tree Gnome Village and Grand Tree to unlock Gnome Restaurant. Um, and I think one of my friends invited me to go play Barbarian Assault, so I think I'm going to go do that first. So that was really tough, but we actually managed to get a, a queen kill. 24 HP, I kept getting comboed. We had two healers, this guy Art, and my buddy Joni. They did a really good job at healing, so shout out to those guys. And we managed to get the queen kill. It was pretty cool, it only took about five minutes, so good job. All right, so let's try High Gamble. Ran our seeds, nice. Alright, so we have most of the items here that we need for Prince Holly Rescue. Um, we got these and this from Implings. We got the red berries from Verrock. The pot of flower we made ourselves. Um, the ashes, we had to cut a, a tree and burn it to get these. And the bronze bar, we had to mine it ourselves. So we did get a little bit of XP for that, but not a big deal. Um, the beers we bought from Verrock, and so did, the, uh, so did we with the pink skirt. The only other things we need is the rope and the onions, which we'll get in Draenor. And then after this quest is done, we can start playing Sorceress's Garden. All right, so we just finished Prince Ali Rescue, which means now we can start doing Sorceress's Garden. Um, Sorceress's Garden gives us farming XP, thieving XP, and we'll get some herbs from it, so we'll be able to train some herb lore. Uh, when, I, uh, when my home teleport um, regenerates, I'm gonna go to Taverly and 
get a pestle and mortar so we can start getting those fruits because those will give us a lot of thieving experience. So I figured since I'm playing the mini games, I might as well show you guys how I play the mini games, uh, just so you guys can either uh, decide to play um, like the way I play, or just if you're curious to see how I do it. Um, so for a lot of these gardens, I know there's a one-click method. Um, I'm not too sure how to do them. I, I probably would just have to look it up. But for these ghosts here, the main part is um, you don't want, well, obviously you don't want them to see you, but I found that as long as you stay uh, out of their, like right in front of them, they won't see you. So you could go right beside them or right behind them and they won't see you. For example, if you come up here and you sit right beside them, they'll pass right by you and they won't see you. As long as you're not too fast. And then I've been collecting the herbs right now so I can get some farming XP and then get some good low level herbs. So yeah, let me know if you guys like that. Uh, maybe when I play Barbarian Assault in other games I can show you guys how I play it. So I'm in Taverly buying the Pestle and Mortar for um, the Squirk Juices and I realized if I want to use the herbs to their full potential I'm going to need secondaries. Now Limpert Roots and Ground Unicorn Horns I can get uh, through mini games, but Iron Newts I can't get them through mini games, so I'm going to buy them. Vials unfortunately I can get by crafting, so I'm going to have to make those my own way. And these beer glasses I just got from crafting, so I'm going to buy some Eye of Newts. I'm going to buy a Pestle and Mortar. And we're going to go back to Sorceress's minigame. Alright, so we got 19 farming filling up an inventory of Winter Squirk Juices. And we're going to turn them in now and see how much thieving XP we can get out of them. 8,050. And that should get us 25 if I did the math right. Yeah, 25. So now we can do the Spring Garden. So we're going to start doing that. Alright, and there's Druidic Ritual done. I decided to do it so that I could uh, start using my herbs. So I'm going to see how many herbs I can make, how many potions I can make, I mean. Alright, so we just got the last Evil Bob random fishing event that we needed. So now we should be 15 fishing. That means that we can now do Fishing Trawler. And also, going to finish these anti-poisons here. Should get a couple Herblore levels. And there's seven herblore. So I think we're we might go try fishing trawler now. Either that or we're gonna do uh tree gnome village because I want to do both of those. Alright. There's tree gnome village complete. I actually almost died to the level 48 commander in the building. Um he had three lines of text to say and he was hitting me as he was saying the text and uh all of his hits stacked at once and I got uh, down to 3 HP, but we got lucky there, but anyway, some big attack XP there. That brings us to 28 attack. That's really good because we only need two more levels to wield our, our um, Lava Battle Staff. And we also only need 25 agility to do Grand Tree, and then I think that's um, that's the last quest to unlock uh, the Gnome Restaurant. So I think 25 agility we need. I can do that at Brimhaven Agility Arena. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. I think I, I want to go try some fishing, uh, some fishing trawler. All right. And there's our first game of fishing trawler done. Let's see what we got. Got some anchovies. Oh, nice. We got a piece on the first trip. Nice. This is actually really good. So I'm going to bank this. I'm going to buy some more swamp paste and we'll try again. All right. So it turns out that fishing trawler is actually really bad fishing XP. I got 20 experience on two runs, seven on the first one and 13 on the second one. Um, we are going to come back to get the full outfit, but I think right now I want to go do some Brimhaven agility arena to get 25 agility so we can do grand tree because the sooner we get those uh, combat levels, the sooner we can go do pest control and pest control is really going to unlock a lot of things for us. All right. And we should have enough tickets here for 25 agility. There it is. So now I think we're going to go do Grand Tree. Actually, no, I got to get some more runes. So I'm going to get some Essence Simplings, get some runes, and then we're going to go do Grand Tree. All right, so we just got 43 Hunter, and I think now we have enough runes uh, to do Grand Tree. We also got an easy and a medium clue scroll, but we'll do those after I do Grand Tree. And there we go. Grand Tree completed. They should give us a lot of agility XP. 
see what we got here. Level 31, 37 attack, and 27 magic. So I think finally we unlocked uh, Varrock Teleport, so that's going to make getting around a lot easier. And 20 combat, okay. So now we can finally wield that Lava Battle Staff, which is going to allow us to cast defensively. And also will give us uh, unlimited fire runes, which is really going to help a lot. Alright, and another easy clue done. Mm, Guthic's page. It's actually a pretty bad clue. So I don't really have too many options to train combat um, against monsters, so I'm going to do some fight arena. Uh, try to use as many runes as I can, uh, and then when I either run out of, of runes, um, I'm probably going to just use my black longsword and try to get some strength or defense levels, because those are the ones I really need for, for combat. And there's 30 magic, so now we can use our lava battle stop finally, and this will give us unlimited fire runes and unlimited earth runes. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. Um, hopefully you enjoyed uh, those clips from a while ago. Um, so you can expect the next video maybe in about a week, uh, but I don't want to promise anything, and uh, we'll keep going with the current progress, um, and I'll update you guys on everything in the next video, so I'll see you guys then.